Welcome to Revo, now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. Would it surprise you to learn that Russia has managed to evade Western technology sanctions to the tune of billions of dollars? It's a jarring reality that might seem like a plot from a high-stakes spy thriller, yet it's happening right under our noses. This complex web of evasion is not the work of a few rogue individuals, it's a sophisticated state-sanctioned operation. From covertly acquiring US aviation technology to navigating the intricate maze of international commerce, Russia's ability to sidestep these sanctions is as impressive as it is alarming. So how did we get here? Let's delve into the evolution of Russia's evasion tactics over time. To understand the evasion, we must first understand the sanctions and their purpose. Let's take a step back and explore the origins of these sanctions. In the wake of escalating tensions and conflict in Ukraine, Western powers felt compelled to act. The United States and the European Union, among others, imposed sanctions aimed at the Russian government. The sanctions targeted key sectors of the Russian economy, including its financial and energy sectors, and specific individuals and entities connected to the Kremlin. These sanctions were designed to put pressure on Russia, attempting to isolate it economically and diplomatically. They sought to hinder Russia's military capabilities by banning the export of dual-use and high-tech goods. These goods, which have both civilian and military uses, could potentially strengthen Russia's military prowess if they fell into the wrong hands. The sanctions also targeted Russian elites and their opulent lifestyles, hoping to hold them accountable for their roles in the conflict. Individuals like Putin's reputed girlfriend, Alina Maratovna Kabieva, found themselves in the crosshairs. Major companies, financial institutions involved in sanctions evasion and even oligarchs were not immune. The goal was clear, limit Russia's ability to wage war and force a change in its aggressive behavior. The sanctions were intended to be a non-violent tool of diplomacy, a way to bring Russia back into the fold of international norms and peace. But as we'll see, these sanctions didn't have the intended effect. In the early days, evasion was a simple game of cat and mouse. Russia's first steps in dodging the West's technological sanctions were as straightforward as they were cunning. Just as a magician uses misdirection, Russia employed tactics like using third-party countries to receive and forward shipments, effectively blurring the trail back to their doorstep. Take, for instance, the case of the two American nationals, Cyril, Gregory, Boyanovsky, and Douglas Robertson. These individuals were caught right in the act of allegedly sending U.S. aviation technology to Russia. Their company, Canrus Trading Company, was in the business of selling and installing Western electronic equipment for airplanes. But here's where it gets interesting. They didn't just sell directly to Russia. Instead, they masked their clients' identities, falsified product costs, and used foreign bank accounts for payments. It was a classic shell game. The technology was there, then it wasn't, then it suddenly appeared in Russia. Crafty moves like these enabled them to circumvent U.S. sanctions for a time. And when the U.S. clamped down on shipments to Russia due to the conflict in Ukraine, these men didn't back down. They simply discussed sending shipments through third-party countries, further muddying the waters of their transactions. But even the best laid plans can come undone. A flagged shipment in February 2022 led to suspicions. Robertson's advice to a Russian client to keep invoices under $50,000 was a telling sign of their evasion tactics. But as the West caught on, Russia had to adapt and evolve. Like a chess player contemplating their next move, the country was forced to consider new strategies in this high-stakes game of evasion. The simple tactics of the past may have worked for a time, but the future was a whole new playing field. As the West tightened sanctions, Russia's tactics became more sophisticated. There was a marked shift in the way Russia navigated the increasingly stringent sanctions, with evasion techniques evolving from simple workarounds to intricate operations. A critical aspect of Russia's advanced evasion strategies involved the establishment of phantom entities. These fake companies, often registered in third-party countries, were the perfect smokescreen to carry out transactions that would have otherwise been flagged under sanctions. 
By creating a labyrinth of corporate decoys, Russia effectively blurred the lines of their economic activity, making it significantly harder for Western authorities to monitor and control. Simultaneously, Russia began leveraging the digital marketplace, using online retailers as a conduit for acquiring prohibited items. This approach had a twofold advantage. First, online platforms offered a level of anonymity that traditional channels did not. Second, the vast and intricate nature of e-commerce made it extremely challenging for authorities to track, let alone regulate every transaction. Another layer of complexity was added when Russia started involving neighboring states in their evasion strategies. By channeling transactions through these countries, Russia was able to further obscure their trail, exploiting the geopolitical intricacies to their advantage. A prime example of Russia's advanced evasion tactics was the meeting between President Vladimir Putin and North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-un. The interaction was carefully choreographed to appear neutral, a strategic move designed to avoid triggering additional sanctions. This showed the lengths Russia was willing to go to maintain its sanction evasion tactics, even willing to risk international relations to achieve their end goal. Despite the West's best efforts, Russia's evasion tactics were proving alarmingly effective. The sophistication and success of these tactics underscore the challenges faced by the international community in enforcing sanctions and the urgent need for more robust monitoring and regulation mechanisms. This new era of evasion tactics marks a significant escalation in the sanctions chess game, one that demands a strategic and coordinated response. The paradox of sanctions is that they can often lead to the opposite of the intended effect. So, we've seen how Russia has managed to maneuver around these sanctions, but what does that mean for its economy and military capabilities? Despite the sanctions, Russia's economy hasn't exactly crumbled. Yes, there have been impacts, inflation has risen, the ruble has weakened, and foreign investments have dwindled. But it's far from the economic ruin some predicted. In fact, the sanctions have inadvertently encouraged Russia to become more self-reliant, diversifying its economy and boosting domestic industries. And what about its military capabilities? Well, they haven't been hampered to the extent one might expect. The sanctions were supposed to cripple Russia's military, limiting its power on the global stage. But the reality is a bit more complex. We've seen evidence of Russia developing and employing advanced weaponry, often with the aid of illicit technology transfers. These advancements are made possible in part by the very sanctions meant to prevent them. Sanctions evasion has also played a role in allowing Russia to continue its activities on the world stage. Despite the restrictions, Russia has managed to maintain relationships with certain countries, often through secretive and intricate schemes. These relationships have helped Russia secure the resources and support it needs to carry on, even in the face of international condemnation. The paradox, then, is that the sanctions have not only failed to achieve their desired effect, but they may have even strengthened Russia in some ways. They forced Russia to be more innovative, more resilient, and more determined to withstand external pressures. So where does this leave us? What can we learn from this situation? It's clear that the current approach to sanctions isn't working as intended. It's time to rethink our strategies, to understand the complexities of global politics, and to consider how our actions might inadvertently contribute to the very outcomes we're trying to avoid. Russia's evasion of Western technology sanctions is a lesson in the limits of economic warfare. In the world of geopolitical chess, Russia has proven itself a formidable player, adept at sidestepping the sanctions imposed by the West. From the early days of using third-party countries to conceal the origin of shipments, Russia's tactics have evolved, becoming increasingly sophisticated and complex, often involving intricate networks of fake companies and online retailers. These tactics have exposed the loopholes in the sanctions system, casting a light on the paradox of sanctions. While they serve as powerful tools for exerting pressure, their effectiveness is inherently undermined by the very nature of global interconnectivity and the ingenuity of those targeted. The sanctions saga also raises important questions about the role of technology in modern warfare, as seen with Iran's claims of AI-guided missiles and Russia's alleged arms deal with North Korea. The battlefront is not just physical, but digital and technological too. The story of Russia's evasion 
is a stark reminder that in the fast-paced, ever-evolving world of technology, sanction strategies must keep pace. As we continue to grapple with geopolitical conflicts, the question remains, how can we make sanctions more effective to truly achieve their intended outcomes? Thank you. With thinkers, changemakers, and revolutionaries. Together, let's embrace the future and unlock the limitless potential of human ingenuity. Get ready to witness the revolution because the future starts now.